Have you ever wondered about the enigmatic figures who dare to live on the fringe of society, shrouded in mystery and often feared? Today, we delve into the intriguing world of Agori Babas, their origin, beliefs, and lifestyle. Founded around the 5th century AD, the Agori Babas trace their roots back to the Kapalika order, an offshoot of the larger Shaivite Hindu sect. The Kapalikas were known for their extreme rituals that involved living in cremation grounds and using skulls as begging bowls. The Agoras emerged from this tradition, carrying forward the Kapalikas' intense practices while adding their own unique elements. One of the key figures in the formation of the Agori tradition was Baba Kinaram. Born in the 17th century, Baba Kinaram is not only revered as the founder, but also as the eternal guru of the Agoras. It's believed that he lived to be over 170 years old, a testament to the Agori belief in transcending the limitations of the human body. The Agoras live a life that is starkly different from mainstream society. They reside in cremation grounds, away from human settlements. Their practices, often described as taboo, include meditating naked, consuming human flesh, and using human bones for rituals. What might seem grotesque to us, for the Agoras, is a path to liberation. Their aim? To achieve moksha, or liberation from the cycle of birth and death. They believe that by immersing themselves in what society considers impure or unholy, they can confront and overcome their fears, thereby breaking free from worldly attachments. Despite their seemingly bizarre practices, the Agoras hold a profound philosophy. They see divinity in everything, even in what the world deems as dirty or impure. This philosophy of non-discrimination extends to their social interactions as well. They often provide medical services to the poor and destitute, using their knowledge of herbs and healing. However, their way of life is not without controversy. The Agoras have often been misunderstood and criticized for their rituals and practices. Yet, they continue to live in their own world, unperturbed by societal norms, in their quest for spiritual enlightenment. To summarize, the Agori Babas, with their origin in the 5th century AD, have a unique way of life that challenges societal norms. They emerged from the Kapalika order and were shaped by influential figures like Baba Kinaram. Their practices, while considered taboo, are rooted in the belief of achieving liberation by embracing what is typically shunned. Despite the controversy surrounding them, they remain committed to their path, serving as a reminder of the diverse and complex nature of human spirituality. As we come to the end of this exploration, remember the world of the Agoras is not just about the shocking and the strange, it's also a testament to the lengths humans can go in their pursuit of spiritual fulfillment and the myriad ways in which they seek to understand the divine. So the next time you hear about the Agoras, look beyond the sensational headlines and remember the profound philosophy that underpins their way of life.